Hey yo, what is going on guys? It is Arch here back again with another video and today I'm gonna to be showing you guys some theories between the two games, Project Zeg and Build a Boat for Treasure. Well in this case the chamber of Zeg, because you know we're going to the boss arena, but we're not gonna fight the boss today. But you know what you wanna do is we're gonna is we're gonna go in this elevator and you know instead of taking a left this time, we're going to take a right. Because you know right right's a cool direction. You know, yeah. So we're gonna go that way. And once we go that way, guys, you'll you'll see something something crazy, guys. Like I didn't know about the secret room yet, and you know I saw the official fusions video, but you know I'm be stating my own opinions on it. So we're not going left this time; we're heading right. So you can see these sleeping eggs, okay? So you know these are the same eggs, and like you know once you got the screwdriver update to build a boat for treasure, you know there was these sleeping eggs in the same room, but it was like more green. So but you notice how there's like two of them. There's one on each side, right? But, but guys, if you go right here, there's a Zeg right here, right? But, there's a Zeg missing right here, guys. But, I'm pretty sure you have to beat the boss first to unlock it. So, if you want to step foot in this room, and you're like in the comments, Oh, I can't access this place. Like, dude, you got to beat the boss first, I think. So, right in here, guys. Right in here. You have the cauldron, you know, it looks, everything looks, looks a tad bit different. You know, it's not the same exact plush room that we're used to, but you know, look, look, look in here, like, you know, see, we got the books, you know, they're a little bit of different colors, you know, I can't see them, like, click on any of them, like, they don't show, like, the click detectors on there, but, guys, see, the blues and the yellows and the potions, like, the exact potions, guys, but, if you look at these potions just a bit closer, they're not the same potions that we have placed down, placeable blocks and build a boat, guys, they are the same potions in the laboratory stage and build a boat for treasure guys like these are the same potions like they're just rescaled down size and set along this table okay and i don't i don't know how to say that is that like french or something but you know there's like cheese right there apparently okay but but guys right here we see there are four new items so one two three and four guys and five if you count this zeg the zeg sword okay i don't even know this cost five this is like a an, as an update but i guess it does wait actually this might be like the valentine's update because you can see that the that the sword has like an upside down heart on it so that might be the valentine's update is that could zeg be returning during the valentine's update guys i don't even know but you know this this symbol in the middle looks oddly familiar kind of looks like the root beast from zelda but it's purple but it's also the same thing from the laboratory stage guys it's the same thing from the laboratory stage but it's purple and you know uh a few months actually like a few years ago or like a year ago or something in a few months you know chill thrill had like these leaks in his inventory where they're sitting like they might add gems to build a boat like we have our currency called golden build a boat you know you, you sail you sell the end, you go through the stages to get gold, reach the chest, you get gold. But what if they add gems to build a boat, guys? Then we can buy like certain more expensive items, or we could trade like maybe a hundred gold for one gem, and and we can use gems to buy like certain chests and get better blocks. And maybe there will be like an in-person shop you can walk up to and say, I want to trade this dude at the shop. And there's like a training post there and you can use those gems to like purchase things or maybe if there's more quests and when you do quests you can get gems i don't even know but you know we're gonna move on to the next thing because i don't want to take too long and i'm gonna edit this video and stuff so you know this thing right here kind of looks like some wind aka some tornado thing i don't even know like maybe this could represent the weather update like in case there's like like say there's an event like or in which wind blows across the stage i don't even know what this will do maybe you'll like push your boat when you're in the stages or something i don't even know what what this is even is i'm, I'm completely clueless about this thing unless this is just like some 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 wind update that i don't even know about guys but if you look right here there are three shapes right here there is a triangle a square and a cylinder guys so do you know how we have blocks to build with and build a boat maybe you'll have triangles and and cylinders to build and build a boat and th there were th leaks of those in chill throws inventory one once upon a time guys so there was a cylinder in there there was a spear in there you know and these triangle things we might we might be getting more wedge blocks like we only have the wood wedges and build a boat but maybe we might be getting more just just for the walls 
but you know we might be getting them and there's a square right here or a cube so we're talking three-dimensional so that means there might be new blocks out of the build -Bow, guys okay and also if we take a look over here guys if we take a look over here there is like a little gear thing you know there's like a little cog thing right here it's not the exact same cog that was in the in the plush room before they switched up all the items like you know there's like a yellow gear there before containing like that was on like on the pedestal in the old plush room then they switched up the new plush room items and this is also not the same gear as in the gear stage in which you want to fight the fabby boss for the second time in which you can get lots of bread you know what i'm talking about like there's like a piano and stuff down there also this might be a gear slash cog update guys like you know just think about it this way it's the vertical redstone of build a boat for the treasure guys like you can place cogs on walls and attach them to levers and power certain items from a distance i don't even know like if they add this that'll be pretty cool like we already have hinges but now we're gonna get cogs guys that'll be pretty cool and the house i don't even know what this represents maybe a new stage like the official fusion was saying that might be a possibility or it could be the halloween update which the fish which the official fusion was saying like you know like like last halloween update you knocked on the doors of the houses like a noob was inside and either and either killed you or gave you some candies guys so this could either be a halloween update or a new stage but guys or this could be the return of the winter place now that i think about it because i remember the the houses were like brown and had like black rooftops but you know they might return the winter place this christmas update guys like like, I don't even know if this is going to be true, but the house is kind of similar to that. I'm just spitballing here. I don't even know if these series are right. Okay, so guys, we're in the lab stage now, guys. So, you know, it's been a while since I recorded the last part of this. So, you know, I was kind of kind of doing some other stuff. And I uploaded that video on which uh, I found a secret accidentally. And I DM'd Fusion. And he thought it was build a boat for treasure. But it wasn't build a boat for treasure, guys. Which is really kind of upsetting me because I wanted a shout out. And I ain't getting a shout out. And I need more subscribers, guys. So please do that. Like and subscribe. It's free. You can do that and it helps out a lot. And it only takes a second and you can change your mind if you really hate my content, guys. So basically, in the lab stage, you know, similar secrets to the Zeg boss plushie room and Project Zeg, guys. So, so the first similarity is, okay, there's this thing over here, guys. But the blue and the yellow potion, guys. Look, as you can see, they're right next to each other, side by side, guys. These are the, basically the same potion models as the ones that were scattered across the table. Wait, you can fall back here. These are basically the same ones that were scattered across the table in in the Zeg in the Zeg plush room. So the blue and the yellow, they got the same rounded bottoms. They got the same uh uh, uh science uh potion bottle design, or yeah, or beaker. Well, no, it's not a beaker. It's not, it's not a flask either. It's kind of like rounded at the bottom. Like, I don't, I don't even know the actual name for it. I forgot. You'll probably learn when you go to chemistry class or something. So, but if you go on here, guys, we can see the Zeg on this monitor being displayed right here. You know, like, this thing's right here. And, you know, these things are moving. I wonder, like, these things are collidable, I heard. So, I wonder if you can, like, stick a harpoon on there and it'll start moving on stuff. I wonder what will happen. You know, that's pretty cool. Like, Zeg's right here. And, you know, if we go over here to this little microscope. Oh, I thought they moved them for a second. He's up here. You know, they, they like, squished them down. They, like, melted them down. And they're, like, analyzing him. They're looking at his, they're looking at his DNA and stuff. And, you know, they're putting on his, putting it on the screen. You know, it looks like kind of something from the Human Genome Project. But, you know, this is just pretty cool. You know, like, putting it on there. But it's displaying the Zeg, okay? We already have the Zeg boss. It's already out, like... I was just there like a while ago but if you look over there there's some bunsen burners and stuff and there's like these potions and there's like more microscopes and bunsen burners over there and there's like a test dummy and there's like some test tubes over there but it, but if you look on that monitor and that monitor there's that symbol yet again from the plushy room but this time it's green okay kind of reminds me of the rupees from zelda but yeah it just does, I think. And also, it was on that one box in Project Zeg. And also, this could be the leading to the gem update, like which I was talking about earlier. Like that was leaked in Chilso's inventory. 
I don't have the, uh, a picture of it right now, but if I can find it, I'll probably share it on screen in just a minute. But, you know, they, they were planning to add, like, the gem update uh, and build a boat for treasure. But maybe Chill Throw will be working on that soon. And I thought that was pretty cool to just, like, mention. This is a science lab stage. You know, the potions are up here, like I, like I was saying, in the Zeg plush room. I'm stuck. So, you know, like the Zeg plush room, like the blues and the yellows, guys. So, and there's Zeg over the there which we can't see because my chunks won't load but it's basically the same premise guys and you know that's basically all the similarities like like the gear isn't resembled here uh the the whatchamacallit oh yeah the the air twister thing isn't really resembled here and also basically just the potions that were on the table and the the gym design are resembled here yeah so basically this lab stage is similar to the Zeg plush room. I'm, I'm, I'm expecting something to happen later with the game Project Zeg, and maybe something will happen in this stage where you can maybe activate one of these buttons on the computer, and you can like jump through it like it's a painting in Super Mario 64 or something like that. Okay, maybe something might happen possibly, guys, where you can go inside the computer and fight the Zeg boss again. Like, maybe the Zeg boss is like a virus in the computer, and you have to fight him off, and maybe there'll be another reward, because there is another secret. Okay, like, I wonder if I still have the screenshot of this. Okay, yeah, it said, like, something about fighting the corrupt, and a secret will be rewarded. Usually when you think of corrupt, it would be a boss fight, okay? And in the boss fight, guys, then when you say corrupt, it would be like inside a computer or something. And you know, the Zeg is inside the computer over there. So there might be a, a boss fight. Again, returning a Zeg, you have to defeat him inside the computer, guys. You have to defeat him inside the computer and you'll get rewarded a prize. You get rewarded a prize, guys. Or something like that. So, you know... That's just a little theory, like Fusion didn't talk about this, you know, I got my own theories, you know, I'm my own guy, and my own self. So, you know, you learn, you learn something new every day, you hear something new every day, and opinions differentiate among others. So, yeah. And, yeah, the Zeg is in the computer, and I'm, so I'm thinking you're going to have to jump inside that computer and fight Zeg, guys. You're going to have to fight Zeg, and, you know, he's kind of in the movie screen, too, like in the movie theater stage, but, you know, we, we ain't close by that. So, yeah. Just so you know, these are just some little theories. So let me know what you agree on. Let me know what you disagree on. Let me know what you think is cool and interesting. And yeah, like and subscribe, and it helps a lot. You can always change your mind if you don't like my content. And yeah, just subscribe it helps a lot. And it's easy. And it takes one second. And yeah.